Animal Jam Classic has a lot of features that barely get used, so today I thought I'd look at some of these features, because most of them are really cool. The first one I want to take a look at is Jammer Central. There's a masterpiece gallery where you can look at a bunch of masterpieces that are all really cool. And you can submit your own. They probably won't get approved because Dash Tag is still on. And that game came out a long time ago. Next are the underwater adventures. These can be a blast, especially compared to some of the land adventures. If you haven't tried these, I definitely give them a go. They're really fun adventures. Also, there's these stations around Jamal where you can print out activity sheets. Then there's Club of the Alphas. This one's kind of like a party, kind of like an adventure, but it's really just a land. If you took out all the shops, all the games, all the people, and left with just a journey book. This one does have three prizes, and it's more interesting than normal journey books, but still not that interesting. An interesting one for me is the egg extravaganza. On paper, it seems really cool. You just buy this egg, and then you get a random pet, but there's a few problems. It costs as much as a diamond pet, and there's only three pets at a time, so there's not much randomness to it, so it gets boring after you buy one or two. Another one a lot of people forget about is the movie theaters. You can just go in and watch some 30 second long movies about animals. And these are really cool, except for they're just super easy to forget about and the movies aren't that interesting. Probably the most underrated one on this list is the touch pool. It's just fun to pet sea creatures. And the thing that makes this interesting is instead of gems like every other mini game you get these plushies and they did a really good job making a sea urchin look cute another really interesting one is the quizzes in the chamber of knowledge you just pick an animal and go through a book with artwork about the animal you picked and then at the end there's a quiz and if you get all the questions right you get a trophy of the animal also there's this online safety quiz and if you get all of these right you get the online safety plaque and finally there's the adventure base can most people just use the adventure button on their map to to do adventures but i think this is cooler because it has entrances to all of the adventures and in my opinion it's the best looking place in jamal that's all i'm gonna put in this video but let me know is there any features so forgotten that i forgot to put them in this video but anyways guys, like and subscribe.